okay, in the Philippines, we don't have much of these cases, but I'm sure you already know, like, we have here mental problems, like, people here, because dementia is very common, so you gotta deal with them, alcoholics, we self-harm, all those things, you gotta need to handle them. Sometimes, I don't know, because you really can't do much for these kinds of, um, um, and welcome back to my channel. To those who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Danica. I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines and also here in the UK. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you will be notified every time that we have an update. So for today's video, we will be talking about how is it working with the NHS. So if you're a nurse and you're working in the NHS, what does it feel like or what do you expect when you go here to work as a nurse? So this is just a random video, really, because I just wanted to share with you, like, for those who are aspiring nurses who wants to come to the UK, like, what do you expect and probably what are some of the differences um, when working there as a nurse in the Philippines and also here in the UK. So to begin with, I am with IPAMS. My agency is IPAMS in the Philippines and I'm working here in Torby Hospital in Torgi. So it's a countryside. It's three to four hours away from London. And um, I'm not sure because if you're um, designated or your area would be around London, it might be different from what I will be saying. But at least maybe there might be some similarities as well. So again, I'm only speaking based on my experience. So... Let's start. So first, I am assigned in A&E. So I am not assigned in wards. So A&E is Accidents and Emergency. So it's an emergency room. Sorry, I have <laughs> I have a copy here. So nurses here um, in the UK, about the salary, it depends because we have like bands. Like band 1, this is your salary. Band 2, 3, 4, 5. So nurses in the UK is band 5. So... We earn like 24,214 pounds per annum. So you got you guys convert it. So it's just the basic pay. So night there's a night differential, weekend, and if you're doing bank. So it's depends on you on, on how on how you wanna raise it. Like if you wanna have extra shifts, then that's fine. But the basic pay is twenty four thousand two hundred fourteen pounds. So this is different when you're in London because I think there's an additional pay for them because the cost of living is a bit higher in there. So um I am not yet doing the salary video like how much do nurses earn in the UK because um, I'm not yet really sure about the computation and all that, but I will try to do a video at some point. <laughs> so nurses here in the UK work 12 hours, three times a week, or sometimes it's four times a week. It just depends because we should be working 34.5 hours in a week. So in the 12 hours of shift, um, we got... Uh, 15 minutes coffee break, 30 minutes lunch break, and 30 minutes dinner time. So it's just like 30, 11 hours and 30 minutes really of um, working in a week. And then nurses work with HCAs or healthcare assistants. So um, we're not doing it alone. So we have a healthcare assistant with us. The difference is that healthcare assistants doesn't give medications and certain procedures as well. But um, as, much, as far as I know, um, they could do much of the work really. Like they're very helpful. Well, it depends on who your healthcare assistant is because some people is different. So, yep. <laughs> and then nurses here needs a lot of training. So when I started here, it's kind of a bit um, overwhelming because we need to do a lot of trainings like what I've said from my previous videos. Every procedure here needs a training even though you're doing it in the Philippines, for example, cannulation. So you cannot cannulate until you have a training course for it. And here, they don't do it like the actual person. We do it in a dummy. So that's how you do it. And also like, for example, catheterization and all that you need. You really need to have a lot of trainings, especially there are some of the things that um, we don't do in the Philippines that we really need to learn here. For example, safeguarding and a lot more. So when you come here, it's a bit different because 
they have different aspects. It's for me, it's broader than what we do in the Philippines because in the Philippines it's just like medical. You treat this the the disease, but here it's kind of holistic. <laughs> How if I could describe it, something like that. So yep, and what else? Um, we have here different like you need to have here different accounts. Um, like for example. Because we have a system like the Hive and the Icon. So the Icon wherein there's Hive, Allocate, ESR. So Allocate is where you can see your schedule. You got to need to have a login for that to access it so that you would know your whole allocation for the month, your schedule. ESR, you get a, it's another account. You have another login wherein you can see there how much would be your expected salary for that month. And there is also the breakdown. What else? And also, you have an access to your Hive. So Hive is where you book all the trainings. So it's not the NHS that will book it for you, but it's you who will book it for yourself and then let the one who's making the rotor, the schedule, to say that I have a study day like this and this will and it will count as paid or it will count as a shift. But depends because not all trainings are paid. So we have here the preceptorship wherein not really yet sure about it because I haven't attended one yet, but preceptorships are paid. Like, you gotta have a training and you need to finish eight sessions. And when you have that, you could do bank shift and bank shifts are paid higher. So bank shift is like, for example, I'm in a and &E, so I can have my shift on wards and it pays a bit higher than what it what my rate is in a and &E, something like that. <laughs> I hope I got it. I got it right. <laughs> anyway. Moving forward, so what else? So here in the UK, in the Philippines, we don't have much of these cases, but I'm sure you already know, like, we have here mental problems, like people here, could, because dementia is very common, so you gotta deal with them, alcoholics, we self-harm, all those things, you gotta need to handle them. Sometimes, I don't know, because you really can't do much for these kinds of, um, um, situations but it's just that the hospital entertains it like sometimes you just really need to, I, I really don't know what's the plan for the patients but yeah sometimes it's just that you gotta deal with them so here you also gotta do some referrals and also bookings booking transport bookings for these kinds of patients for example they're from a nursing or residential home you gotta inform the he uh, home care that they're going home and also arrange transport for them and also if like they have self-harm and they have children you need to do some safeguarding you need to refer them to such agencies like that uh, a lot of things these are the things that are really new to me because we don't really do it in the philippines but you gotta learn how to do it here because it's really a must and it's something really common. <laughs> so moving forward, um, one of the best things probably um, while working in the NHS is you have your annual leave and you have, you're enrolled in the NHS pension. So for the annual leave, because we haven't started really <laughs> in a whole year, like they have a computation on how much hours we could have, we could have for an annual leave but i think if you're work you have been working for a year full time like you have an eight weeks paid i'm not sure but i think it it was it's eight weeks so that's really that's really a good thing because um <laughs> you know you're being paid while you're enjoying so here there's like um work and play balance which is very good thing and nhs pension um at first, I don't know really the computation because sometimes it changes, but I think um, to, I, I was considering to opt out, but then I realized um, I really need the pension when, you know, you have the plan of staying here and settling here in the UK. So I think that's a very good thing. <laughs> anyway, what else? So as a, in general, <laughs> in general, the work here in the UK is... Well, a bit lighter than when you compare it in the Philippines, especially nurses who are working in the government hospital there. It's just that in here, you got to learn a lot of things because <laughs> you got to learn a lot of things because um, like 
the routine and how you do things, referrals, trainings. I'm still new, so often I just <laughs> I just don't know what to do. But um, really, you just need to learn things, how things work, something like that, and a lot of forms and trainings. But eventually, hopefully, um, <laughs> I can be more confident in doing it in myself. So, yeah. So I guess that's it. If guys, if you find this video helpful, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel again. See you!